Hello everybody, welcome back to the Erasmus Expeditions. I have a very special video for you today. This is going to be an unboxing video for a, a thing that is going around the crafting community. Um, I don't have a lot of crafting content on the channel yet, but I hope to upload um, more videos in the future of some of the things that I've made. Now today, this uh, box is called the Craft It Forward box. Now this was sent to me by Jacob Norman from Mini Terrain Domain. And this is a thing, like I said, that's been making its rounds through the crafting community. And the idea is that uh, you put a bunch of crafting materials or miniatures into this box and send it to a crafter that you know. That crafter takes what they can use from the box or what they might want and then replaces it with an equal amount or you know, monetary um, com comparative uh, amount of things back into the box and then sends it on to someone else and it continues to pay its way forward through the community and it tends to kind of just build a, a close-knit camaraderie as well as uh, supply uh, different crafters with things that you may have in abundance but that someone else may not have any access to it's a really really cool um, idea and it's um, a very interesting uh, thing to kind of see what some people are willing to pass and what some people really uh, cling to and uh, needless to say, I'm incredibly humbled uh, to be included uh, as a, a part of this, this process. And I'm really excited to kind of show you guys what it is. Now, I did shoot a video of the actual unboxing of this um, Craft It Forward box. However, unfortunately, the only thing that it shows very well is the bald spot on the top of my head. Um, the camera just wasn't framed correctly. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut over to that video and then just kind of um, cut in uh, still photographs of the actual items that were in the box. So that way you can get a clearer idea of the kinds of things that were inside. So without any further ado, let's go check it out. Okay, so here I am. Here is the box uh, that was sent to me by Jake with uh, Mini Terrain Domain. This box is incredibly heavy. Uh, I'm going to see if I can't... Uh, Get this open and figure out what's inside. Uh, it's been here uh, since Monday. It is now Friday, so uh, I've been very, very eager to open this, but have not had the chance. Uh, it's been a pretty busy week. Lots of games and a couple of family things that were going on. So I'm very excited to find out what all is in here. a very very big box. Uh, I don't know how much of it is going to show up on camera as I'm opening all of this up. But we shall see. Bubble wrap. Okay. First, the plastic container. The lids seem better days, but looks like some pretty cool stuff. This is a well, hands-free. Um, trying to remember, there's a name for this, but I can't remember it at the moment. Oh, cool. Some looks like maybe some 3D printed minis, a Bule, a Yeti of some kind, a Zorn. Um, I cannot remember what kind of creature that one's called. Like a tent. Or a small house of some kind, a little A-frame. Lots of little pieces of furniture and some sprue, things of that nature. This is cool. Oh, nice. Like a weapon rack. All kinds of cool stuff in here. Myconoids or mushrooms. This is awesome. <clears throat> All kinds of these weird little spacer clip type things. Uh, I'll get some close-up pictures and stuff um, of all of this once I have a chance to kind of get it all out of here. Little tiny bar stools and oars. It's like uh, some kind of sci-fi stuff. It's cool. Oh my gosh. Uh, some kind of like a 
a seal, it's like a bird on it, as well as like a beholder, it looks like a roper, <laughs> it looks like a, a 3D printed uh, symbol from The NeverEnding Story, the Oryx, oh, Oryx, something like that. Nice. Uh, and then a bunch of pipettes. Yeah. That's awesome. <clears throat> There's also the bookmark. From Nord Games. A bunch of printed transfers. You'll have to excuse the dogs barking in the background. Looks like posters of some kind, maybe, or books. I bet those are supposed to be books. Um, a Warhammer's armor painting guide. Looks like for zombies. Some kind. The Nameless Realms. The folio. Cool, it's like a little uh, a module, looks like. Um, kind of uh, jungle themed. That's pretty cool. Oh, wow. Uh, this looks pretty cool. Huh. This is the uh, the Craft It Forward book. It looks like that's supposed to be written in and then sent onward. Ooh, the Frostgrave. Frostgrave book. There's all kinds of great stuff in here. gonna be hard to uh, to make sure any of this makes it to anybody else. <laughs> I'm kidding. Of course. Uh, what's this? Dice maybe? Yep. Lots of dice. Like an old uh, tent stake bag. <clears throat> Let's see what else. Man, it's all kinds of folded maps and all kinds of things in here. Ooh, the Cloud Giant's Bargain. That was a cool little, like, one-time uh, event that they did in movie theaters and stuff. And this is kind of the exclusive module that came with it, complete with somebody's hand-drawn stuff in the back. Minds of Madness. Printed Adventure. Thunderspire Labyrinth. Oh man, that's that's serious right there. That's a big another big adventure. It looks like maybe for fourth edition. <clears throat> it's kind of cool little tube. It's like a, a medical apparatus. Uh, let's see what else here. I think these are some of the pieces from the original box. We got uh Jake's symbol here for Mini Terrain Domain. Got uh, DM Scotty. Another logo here that I don't recognize, as well as a sign for crafting it forward. Uh, Project Deadfall. Uh, we've got uh, Rune Hammer. Must have been written by Hankerin. Gotten to meet both Hankerin and Jake in person. Uh, that the absolute tabletop convention every year um, thus far, the last two years in Tacoma. It's really cool. These look like a bunch of little wooden pieces, little archways and doorways. Looks like punch out from MDF, maybe. It's all uh, laser cut. That's pretty cool. A rotating stand with four LED lights. Excellent. Y-axis right assembly. Oh, that's just the box. Oh, hey, look. Looks like maybe moss. Like a skeletal scorpion. A really awesome. Um, oh, what are those called? Melfeshni. A Melfeshni tyrant. Some Egyptian skeletons. Some barnyard animals. Uh, some reaper bone orcs, looks like. A bunch of spiders. Definitely some cool stuff in there. Uh, let's see 
what else? Some plastic card, looks like some maybe Games Workshop screws, as well as some random bits, some texture pieces, and lots of interesting little tidbits in that one. That, not sure. I'll have to open that one here in just a second. Now, this one's from V. This is a part of the original box as well, must be. It's either for packaging or for crafting. You can never really tell. <laughs> Some cool, like, foam shapes. Also, parts of the original box, I'm guessing. Craft it forward. That also looks like it must be must have been done from uh, uh, hankering. Realm of creatures. Realm of craft bits. Definitely look like they came from the original box. Let's see. Some corks. A bunch of lids and popsicle sticks, gauze and tape for different kinds, little clothes pins, different kinds of putty, some plastic jewels, some paint brushes or yep, paint brushes. Uh, looks like a little paintbrush stand. A glass plastic bottle with some acorn caps and stuff in it. Bunch of little um, like punch outs and beads it looks like. Again, lots of little tiny pieces and really cool bits. Okay. Wylock. Part of the original box. Um, that might either just be a random piece of cardboard or it came off of something else. Nope, nope, there's several more of them. They've got kind of a cool little parchment uh, print on them. This looks like a Loot crate box. Ooh, look at there, all kinds of minis, bones. Uh, one of the uh, the whiz, the new whiz kids minis. Lots of looks like horses and scorpions and all kinds of stuff. Hero clicks. Bunch of little uh, trees. A couple of trees. Excellent. And okay. Uh -huh. Downtime Dad. Not a channel that I have heard of yet, but if he's had uh, access to this box, he's got to be a, a crafter. I'll have to go check him out. Okay. Goodman Games, the new stuff. A big old thing of black paint. Lots and lots of Games Workshop, looks like orcs, all kinds of things. Looks like a necklace, some flocking, scatter, some more uh, MDF, like offcuts, looks like. No, those look like they slot together. That might be like a paint rack or something. That could be really exciting. A couple of sci-fi doors, wall textures type stuff. That's really cool. All right. Well, I think that is about it. So I think now what I'll do is uh, cut on over and do a closer look at some of this stuff. So that's the Craft It Forward box, at least as it came to me. 
I'm now going to lay everything out, decide what I'd like to keep, what I'd like to send on, and also go through my own things and decide from there what I'd like to add to the box before I send it on to another crafter. And yeah, it's a really cool um, tradition, I guess is probably the best word to describe it. Um, I'm really excited to have been a part of it, so thank you very much, Jacob Norman. Um, and until next time, may your dice roll high and your snacks always be within reach.